What is good everybody? So today I'm spending a day at Hotel de Février. It's one of the best hotels in the country. Um, but it's not like I'm actually booking a place so I can do a review. It's actually on special request. I'm doing a shoot for Julio's 30K celebration. I'm also doing a shoot for one of my friend's girlfriend. Um, uh, yeah. So we're just spending some time trying to shoot everything. Uh, there was a lot of pressure going on because I had to shoot another commercial for Mr. Pizza, but that didn't pan out well because I obviously I had to come earlier to hotel so I can shoot the scenery and preparations for the surprise birthday party and the 30k. And then I had to go back to the to the pizza place so I could do the shoot and that didn't work out because I got delayed and the guy couldn't make it anymore because he had a tight schedule. So we had to push that. The good side to all this is that I actually got to be in the hotel and you guys can see the beautiful view from the hotel, it's pretty amazing. Now later on I'll show you also some scenes from the buffet. So to be quite fair, the place here is very nice, like I don't know if this is like a junior suite, I'm not really too sure, but the, the rooms are really really nice, like super cool, like I think really this place deserves the title that it has is the best hotel in Togo. The artwork, pretty amazing. So this is the preparation, all the room and everything. Okay, that's it. So I don't think she knows my YouTube channel, so it won't be too much of a surprise when she sees this. And yeah, somebody's coming, gotta get that. All right guys, so this is where it work in Africa, okay? I'm in Togo right now. I'm gonna be trying something weird. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go right here. Okay, this is Nutella. Okay, put it on here. Okay, pardon me. I might cut this video just to the To make it right. Alright, so now I got the chocolate on. Maybe trying out ah, one more thing. So I'll put it right here. And I have turkey hat. Yep. Okay, so there you go. This is the combination. Very weird, exactly. So I'm trying to see if it works. Here we go. So does it work? Yes, it does. Because honestly, the flavor of the chocolate is taking over. So it makes it like uh, chocolate, salty chocolate. By the way, guys, uh, my friends and I created the page. Actually, they created the page. It's called Will It Work? It's basically trying out food combinations that are normally not normal. And yeah, so that's why I did that small uh, thing. Trying out the bread with the peanut butter and the uh, ham. So if you guys want to see that kind of stuff, check out that page. I'm just going to link it in my uh, description. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, today is like a random vlog. It's just nothing too serious. Just showing you what I'm doing it on my day to day basis. And yeah, as you can see now, I have more flow of work and more things happening and I found a really good circle of people that I like to be with and yeah so I'm helping them out like you know just like on their social medias and then I'm um, just filming my daily life you know and uh, good news the song is almost gonna be out um, I believe next week you'll be having news about it and yeah I think I'll be creating a new page just for my music so you guys can check that out too so yeah uh, everything's coming into good fruition and I'm happy for you guys to be sticking around the journey your, your boy's gonna blow up so you guys are tagging in at the right time. Let's go, guys. P.S. I'm going to be challenging myself. So I have three, no. Yeah, three videos to finish today. Uh, one music video for Gamos. It's almost like 90% done. It's just like a few uh, things to change. Uh, 
Julio's 30k and the girl's birthday party. Uh, I I have I'm challenging myself to do this in under one hour. So I'm gonna time myself, okay? I don't know if I can do a time lapse or all that kind of stuff, you know? But I'm gonna time myself. If I can finish it in under one hour, well, good for me. But like, uh, yeah, that'll be a good challenge. So let's see who's calling. Wait, I'm just trying to defeat me. Wait, I'm messy. So, le pain. Okay, okay, got a plan. So also, uh, I also got my mom a new phone. I ordered it from my neighbor. Uh, he sells phones and everything. So she has a ruggedy ass phone. I'll show you that. And uh, yeah, I thought like it's time for her to get a better phone. Like I have a really shitty phone. Like it's all broken. Like, see how broken it is? Okay. See how bad it is? Yeah, so I'm just gonna focus on getting my mom a phone and everything since I still have a lot of projects on this stuff. I'll keep it on in the time being and uh, yeah, let her get a better phone so she can see most of my work because she hasn't seen any of my work. So yeah, that's about it. By the way, mad respect to everybody that actually was able to live out or pursue their passion after the pandemic, after all that's been tossed at them. I know that many people lost their jobs some people were demotivating everything and other people just like you know what they turn to the only thing they have left in their life is what they're passionate about you know and i honestly i commend you for that because honestly i believe that in a situation like this the best thing to do is just to focus on your passion the best thing to do is to focus on your passion right and uh, i'll tell you why because like once you focus on your passion your thought process is going to be constantly thinking yeah, thinking of ways to make that achievement more likely to happen because you're constantly thinking of ways to better improve in that certain area and because you already like it, you'll easily find loopholes or like the solutions much quicker than other people because you're in it, you're deep in it so you're, you're easily going to be able to see that answer, you know? Other people won't be able to because they're not really, they don't really get it and they're not really that passionate to know what they're doing so I'm just gonna give a small example, like for example, video editing, like, right? If you're not into like trying to create a cinematic video, like trying to make something really badass, I don't think you're gonna be able to create something really cool. It might come out okay, but it won't come out creative, it won't come out like artistic or anything, you know? So you gotta be able to love it, see the end goal, and then over time, you start seeing the baby steps, you know, like when you dissect the whole video, you'll be able to see like what you really missed out on. Once you notice those things, it'll just make you grow and other people will notice the small things as well. You know, it's always the small things that get far and voila, other people will notice your work and that's what happening to me, you know, like people start noticing my work because like I have this certain touch that not many people have in this country so I stood out very easily. Now I know it's harder for people that are in the States, for example, because you have a higher competition but do that thing that nobody else is doing like i'm sure you have a style that no many not many people do or not many people approve of so you got to do that thing and see how you can be the best at doing that thing that you find cool and other people don't you know so that's it that's about it guys so keep going i know it's hard but you got to keep trying
stars in the skies When I look in your eyes I believe my life is complete Cause it's you, my love Anytime I sleep, I see you, my love Early in the morning, it's you, my love It's only you I need in Say you never leave Cause you make my life complete It's only you So my mom just came back from the village and she messed up her phone so she started using this raggedy ass phone like it's really bad <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a small surprise I'm just gonna buy her a new one and yeah she doesn't know about it so yeah all right now moment of truth uh, my name is back so we got the phone so yeah I'm gonna grab it from him and I'm gonna give it to her so let's see their surprise and reaction let's go Mama, do you want to take my Wow! Wow! I didn't see you, baby! A big bisou! Look at the difference, guys! Thank you very much, baby! Que Dieu te bénisse vraiment. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Yala. Encore. Five. Hi. Yala, c'est bien. Olivier, maintenant tu pourras voir mes vidéos oui. sur, sur YouTube et tout. Oui, c'est ça, non? <laughs> et enfin. Ah, avec TikTok. Yeah. TikTok? No, 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 no. I'm not best at TikTok. No. <laughs> so yeah, but I enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm glad I got these out of the way. Now I can focus on different things. Uh, I have the song coming up, so that's gonna be good. Uh, guys, be ready for that one. That's gonna be pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of the vlog. And uh, I guess I'll give you like a weekly update. I'll just mash up content. And just send it out to you guys so you guys can hear about updated with what I'm doing. And later on, once I like free up my time and I have more time to like invest on YouTube and everything, you guys are gonna be able to see my lifestyle. But it's I I promise that I stay consistent and I'm staying consistent every week. At least I'm doing one video. So that's it. Like I hope you guys enjoyed this week and yeah, enjoy your weekend, guys. Let's go.